Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm at a very cold and windy Batty Island. And look, we got the uh, Pirate River sign in the background. I wanna show you what they've got up to on the Pirate River. It, to be honest with you, considering, I think it was only like three weeks ago they pulled it down. Well, this, is, this is really good. Okay, so this is what they started with, right? This is, this is when they took it down here. Yeah, you can see. I mean, look, it's not just dirt, it's lime scale. And these ones here, look, these are still not done right but as we come along here right look at this see that there look it's actually using acid to take the lime scale off so as you can see from there to there that's a big difference but now let me show you the finished product look it's amazing honestly okay this is a good example look right that's before right that was blue yeah watch 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 and that's after how much better does that look what a fantastic job they've done. That's unbelievable. Look at it. All the sides are all nice. It's all white, all sprayed up lovely. And that looks, well, this ride, I was told, is about 30 years old. And it looks brand new, doesn't it? And if we come up here, look. Look, there's more. These are done. This is not done. But I mean, look at that. To me, that looks as if they've got the acid on that and cleaned that up because there's no lime scale on there and then look at that that's craziness look <laughs> the weather we've been having here guys it's like a log boom my days look at that that's craziness isn't it let's have a look at these Apparently all this is, they, they want to paint all this white too. This is the frame that you see at the back. So that'll look nice. Cause as you can see, it might be 30 years old. It's never had a lick of paint on it from what I can see. So it's going to look absolutely amazing. And there again, look at this. This is the lime scale that they're actually using acid to remove that. Look, it's like chunks. It's coming off in chunks. It's crazy. So they said that was the worst part because they, they couldn't get the lime scale off. So like I just showed you then, they're actually using acid. Another one there, look, not started. <laughs> look at that. Absolutely fan dabby dozy. I love it. Just noticed, look, disco fever on the back of the wagon. Wow. I don't know whether that means it's going. I haven't heard, they haven't said it's going. But look at these old trucks. Look at that there, Henry Danter and Sons. Oh my days. Look, built 1904. That's the old carousel in there, built 1904. So they're hoping to have the log flume back up the beginning of the year. Now they said, if it all goes perfectly, it could be before the beginning of the year, but January, I'm guessing around January, to be honest with you. Yes, the fun never stops at Barry Island Pleasure Park. See these pieces here? They were put on after, weren't they? But they were never painted. They were just put on because they were in a rush. And now, as you can see, they're looking brand new. And all this, all this, look, all painted. Looks brand spanking new. It really does, guys, honestly. I'm not just saying that. It looks absolutely brilliant. What a lovely job they've done. Look, they've separated them all, make sure they don't get scratched and damaged. Oh, here we are, look. That's before. That's before. And that's after. There's a big difference, isn't it? Looks amazing. But just speaking to young Henry, um, that's Henry's grandson, he also said that they, they're hoping by Easter to have the wheel all stripped down and resprayed. Now, with all this going on, the park is still going to be open on the weekend, weather permitting. Um, so still come along guys, still show your support. Like I said, there's a lot, there's not everything is open, but it's still worth a visit. Now there's a couple of things I want to show you in Stardust, which I thought were really cool when I seen them. Yeah, can you spot them in there, look? Let me show you, I'm gonna get run over. Look at this geezer. 
He's nice. It's even got presents in there. There's another one even better than that. Let me show you. We've got Santa here and his, and his reindeers. But look at this guy up here. What's going on, Santa? Look at that. Santa don't need the chimney anymore when he comes straight through the roof. I love that. I love it. What a solid, mate. That's so good. Look at these glasses as well. That's good. But as you can see, it looks really Christmassy in here. I really like it. There's also a Santa's Grotto. This is the Santa Grotto, yeah? And do you know what this is, yeah? I'll give you a couple of seconds, see if you can figure it out. Look at the shape of it. It's an old train. It's, the old tra it's one of the old trains off the fair. Now guys, I'm all for recycling. That is absolutely fantastic. So you can have Santa in there from two till six on the weekends. And the first 10 people to arrive, as far as I know, is gonna be free. And then after that's five pounds per child, obviously you get a present too. So I like that. I love it, man. And you're sitting in a vintage train. Wow. Let's go in here and have a look at this. These are machines and half these, aren't they? Crikey, my holders. But look at these chairs here. Look at that. I tell you why you'd spend some money sat in that thing. Look at that. That's the height of comfort, mate. Proper gaming chair. But this is what I brought you in here to see. Look at this. It's the carousel horse. It just brings it all in, doesn't it? The fairground, bringing it into the, the arcades. Look at this chair as well. I'm sure this was in the small stardust that went up on the fairground. But look, there's a crew in here, mate. Oh, what's a carriage? Probably shouldn't say this, but it's a great place for a selfie. <laughs> but I didn't say that. Just noticed they uh, started the roof up on dimes. They've taken one of the windows out there. I bet that's just for access, isn't it? Make it easier than climbing all the way up the ladders. Yeah, they're up there now, but they look. So you can see some roof ladders up there. I bet that hasn't been much fun in this wind, rather them than me. Let's go and have a wander over the prom, just to see if, um, I don't know, because when we looked last one, there was, there was nothing there. I think the wall that was there was the trampolines. But let's go and have a look, see if there's anything there now. No. Still the same, mate. But I've been saying for years, and, and people who, who've been following me a long time will know, I just don't know why we haven't got a winter wonderland on Barry Island. I, it, it don't make any sense to me. We've got all this year, all these facilities, all these rides, and yet people are travelling to the centre of Cardiff to ride rides, which, well, we've pretty much got here. There's not much going on on the beach. We've got a few dog walkers. Look at them waves, mate. It's been nasty here. This is mild compared to how it's been. I tell you that, it's been proper, proper nasty here. That day we went and rode the train, that was, it was bad that day, but we've had a few bad days since then. But there you are, that's what you've got to expect when you live by the seaside, isn't it? Why are they talking about the dogs not allowed on the beach certain months of the year when they are allowed on the beach now? Why does our recording still need to be playing? I don't know. Remember I showed you these electric charging points here on the island? I thought, that's amazing. They're still not turned on. I don't know what that all about. But also, even more stupid, it's a taxi rank. But what we got across the road there? A taxi rank. Does that make any sense? This has been your donkey's years. Hardly ever used. It used to be buzzing down here years ago when you used to have taxis hanging around here when we had nightclubs and whatnot. One thing is, look how much space they got here, right? Where they could have put those electric charging points. Yeah? But look where they decided to put them. Look at it. You're taking up literally almost half the pavement is taken up by this, which is not even switched on. When they got unlimited room right across the road. I honestly don't get it. Okay, the weather's taking the turn for the worst. It's now raining and the wind is picking up again. I don't know when this is gonna ever end. So many people have been asking about the new rides turning up, when they're gonna arrive. I've spoken to Henry now this morning and he tells me he's still unclear on a date, so. I can't imagine that they're going to end up at a Christmas winter wonderland. Somebody asked me, just walking up through here now, how it definitely looks without the log flume. But I've got to be honest with you, I am very excited 
to see all this come back together and see it all looking brand new. It's gonna look amazing. Also, Henry was telling me that this is gonna be extended. So like I say, the work never stops here on Belly Island Pleasure Park. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't get lost or squashed, and we'll speak more soon. Bye. Don't you spend your